Welcome to Mighty Machines. Today we will be looking at some incredible machines that are on another level. But before moving on, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get in on our next video. First up, we have the Veermeer Terrain Leveler. This heavy-duty machine cuts into the earth from a modified tractor and removes the upper layer of soil flattening out the terrain. A jagged digging head is used to do so. Next is the Tesmec Bucket Wheel Digging Machine. The name truly fits the product with what is a wheel of bucket-like scoops that cut the soil and dispense it out the side. This is effective at rapid and precise trench creation in soft to moderately hard soils and comes in a variety of different forms. In this clip, you are watching the CAT 6090 Hydraulic Shovel, which is unique because of its two engines. This is so that one can drive the vehicle itself, while the other one can drive the hydraulics for its arm and shovel. It is one of the biggest shovels in the world with a capacity of 104 tons of payload. In this clip, we have the drum cutter. This spinning set of teeth makes quick work of hard clay, rock, and concrete, which is turned to easily remove debris. It's useful in applications from the preparation of land projects to demolition, making it useful at a multitude of sites. Meet this monster, it's the Bellas 7510. A haul truck produced in Belarus. It has four axles and eight wheels. Of these wheels, four are hydraulic and used for the purpose of load handling. The remaining four are drive wheels. The Bellas 75710 can carry up to 450 tons of load, which is the same as its own weight. A fun fact, this machine consumes 198 gallons of fuel in just an hour, that's enough to completely fill a Ford F-150's gas tank eight and a half times.
Next we have the Kobelko's Demolition Device. This machine uses an advanced hydraulic claw that cuts through steel and concrete during the demolition of a building. This pair of pitchers can tear apart a building piece by piece, making the removal of construction a relative breeze compared to disassembly by hand. Just make sure not to get your arms stuck in there. This next machine is the P&H Electric Rope Shovel, a cable system excavator. Instead of hydraulics, its digging arm is controlled and powered by winches and steel ropes. It has no engine as it's entirely based on electrical power. The largest variety, the P&H 4800 XPC, has a dipper capacity of 92 cubic yards and 122.5 metric tons. To bring back the F-150, it could essentially hold three and a half whole F-150s in just volume. In terms of weight, it could hold over 40. In short, this machine can move a lot of dirt around very quickly. Next up is the truly incredible Bucket Wheel Excavator. This is the largest machine on Earth, as confirmed by the Guinness Book of World Records. It has a length of over two soccer fields, and it is taller than a 30-story building. This mega monster was built in 1995 to excavate coal in Germany. It still valiantly does its duty to this day. Like PNH's electric rope shovel design, the Pat Walking Dragline has a similar cable mechanism, I'll bet, with a more traditional crane style. The bucket is attached with two ropes, one at its top and one at its base. Upon pulling the rope, the bucket is filled up with minerals and dust. These machines are used for lifting heavy loads and mining and construction just like previous machines we've seen. Last on our list today is a tunnel boring machine also known as the Mole. Another excavating machine that is only used for tunnels. It is designed to bore through anything like earth and hard rock. It's an excellent alternative to tunneling using methods such as blasting and certainly beats doing the work by hand.
Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. Which of these machines was most impressive to you? Have you ever seen any of these in person yourself? Are there any other massive machines you want us to talk about? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you next time on Mighty Machines.